Hey everyone, and welcome to my beginner's guide to Dauntless. My name is Azavar. This guide was made in May 2019 during the Dauntless cross-platform official launch, and this guide will give a brief overview of all things Dauntless. Dauntless is a free-to-play, four-player co-op online action RPG, currently out for PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4, with cross-platform play between all platforms. With that being said, let's get into it. Basic movement and attacks. I'm a PC player, so for the most part here, I'll be talking in terms of using mouse and keyboard. But of course, if you're using a controller, just use the equivalent button. It's worth mentioning that you can use a controller on PC as well if you want to. The weapon that you have equipped will affect your combos and attack patterns. Bring up your main menu and click on the move list. You will see that you have light attacks and heavy attacks. Check out the combo list to see what kind of moves your weapon can do. Press Q to activate your special ability, and then with some specials you also press Q again to end it or activate the next part of the special. It's worth reading the tooltips here as well, as you can see with the sword cyclone attack, the finishing move of the special does bonus damage based on the number of hits whilst in your cyclone. This screen also has a damage legend, which shows you the different types of damage that you can cause, which are stagger, wound, part, and basic damage. Stagger damage will build up to eventually make the behemoth fall over, leaving him open for attacks. Wound damage will eventually lead to wounding a behemoth part, which then allows it to break a lot faster. Part damage will go towards the part actually breaking off, and basic damage is just the behemoth's overall HP pool. When in combat, make sure to use your dodge roll. Whilst in this roll, you have a small invincibility window. You can use this to roll through behemoth attacks or out of the way. Make use of your lantern by pressing V and also by holding V. Pressing and holding will give you two different results. Also, F on your keyboard is jump. Tapping C will shoot up your signal flare and holding down C and using the radio menu will give you emotes and also a banner plant. Pressing X will bring out or put away your weapon and you will run faster with your weapon put away. Weapon types. There are currently six different weapons to use in Dauntless. Swords, axes, hammers, chain blades, war pikes and double pistols known as the Ostian repeaters. Each has their own playstyle, so make sure to play around and find what kind of style you enjoy. For me, I enjoy all of them, so I just swap and choose. Swords are a good all-round weapon and can do a little bit of everything. They also have a cyclone attack. Axes are heavy hitters and can also be thrown like a boomerang. At the end of the throw, they can do a hard-hitting ground pound. Hammers are also heavy hitters. The attacks are a little slower, but they hit really hard and are good for staggering behemoths. Hammers also have a kind of shotgun built into them as well. Chain blades are very fast, they allow you to be quick and nimble in battle. They allow you to push off and away from behemoths and also latch onto and close in quickly. War pikes allow you to store up power into a missile that you can then use to aim and shoot at the behemoth, which is useful for interrupting behemoths and leaving them open to attacks. The Ostian repeaters are a ranged weapon, the damage increases the closer you are to the behemoth. They also can be used to buff the party and to place down mines that can also interrupt behemoth attacks. Your loadout screen will show you your weapon power level and your armor power level displayed along the weapon header and the armor and lantern header. Ramsgate. Ramsgate is your central hub. Some things in Ramsgate may be locked behind a quest. Look for and carry out quests in town to start unlocking things. You can access your quest log from your main menu. Your weaponsmith is Wills Borman. You will see towards the bottom of the screen what items are required to create the weapon or upgrade the weapon. If you point your mouse cursor at the required item, it will give you a tooltip on how to get that item. Moira is your armorsmith. All things armor is done by them. Arkan Drew is your lantern aethersmith. All things lantern over here. Janik is for your grenades and your Ostian repeater crafting. The middleman is for creating new cells. 
by merging two of your currently owned cells together. For example, you can combine two cells of the same type and the same tier to create one cell of the same type at the higher tier. You can also buy a limited number of cells from here too. Marcus is your item crafter. He will make potions, tonics and pylons to help you out in battle. For example, you can craft a bulwark tonic that reduces damage for the next three hits. Core breakers are where you will receive cores after completing quests. And the billboard is where you access the map for hunts or you can select map from your main menu or press M on your keyboard. Choosing your behemoth. After you bring up the map, you will be given a choice of a patrol or a pursuit. A patrol will randomly select a behemoth from a certain group of behemoths. A pursuit will allow you to specifically pursue one single behemoth. The threat level of a behemoth will give you an idea of how tough the fight will be. The higher the threat level, the harder the fight. Patrols will reward you with some bonus items such as crafting items, orbs and arc stones. Arc stones are used for upgrading weapons and armor. Before you drop onto the island, you will be in the airship. This is where you prepare for battle. Take note of the hunt info screen here, as this will show you any elemental strengths or weaknesses that the behemoth may have. For example, if you are fighting a fire element behemoth, you will want to equip a fire resistant armor set. The mastery system. Dauntless has a mastery system which has various different challenges and rewards. Weapons go up to mastery level 20, slayer and behemoth mastery go up to level 50. Your slayer mastery is your overall progression, your behemoth and your weapon mastery is specific. There are challenges for using all different types of weapons, different elements of the same weapon, even defeating a behemoth while taking less than 100 damage solo. Masteries also unlock modifications for your weapons and armor too. For example, you will unlock the option to change the special ability of your weapons. Also, the cap of your weapon and armor power level will increase. Cells and perks. On your loadout screen, you will see a list of perks in order of the highest number to the lowest. If you hover your mouse pointer over a perk, it will show you the various different levels of that perk. You can equip cells into your armor, weapons, and your lantern to swap and choose these perks. Also, armors and weapons have their own perks pre-built into them, so kind of like a pre-installed cell, if you will. For example, my Call of Dawn sword has a plus three cunning perk already on it. Then it gives a description of what that does, which is plus 10% chance for the attack to hit twice. If I then insert a plus three cunning cell into the sword, that will take it to plus six, which takes it up to plus 15 critical strike chance. So feel free to get creative here, make up your own builds for different things. You can even communicate with other slayers to make up a party that consists of a team that is ready to take on anything. A few other hints and tips. You can use grenades to deal additional damage they come in handy when there is a bit of distance between you and the behemoth. If a behemoth is glowing a red colour, it means it's enraged and it will generally do more damage and be slightly faster. Behemoths can also become aether charged where they will turn a certain colour or change their appearance or looks in some way. Whilst hunting, you can run into aether wisps that give you a short burst of running speed. You can use aether vents in battle to restore some health. Where there is an eighth event, there will be a behemoth. You can also trade your unwanted cells for aether dust, which you can then use to buy new cells from the middleman in Ramsgate. I am also a Dauntless partner, and we have our own Azavar Army signal flare in the game. Thank you for watching my beginner's guide to Dauntless. Hopefully, this video helps you in some way and you found it useful. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notifications bell. You can find me on social medias and in the game as Azavar. If you want to say hello, I will leave the links in the description to this video. And until next time, take care.